doing? This is the show tonight, huh? Yeah, Ronald. All the money that we make from the ticket sales for the roast will go to Fur Baby and all the other pit bull rescues in Los Angeles. It's the least that we can do. Brad Williams, I will be your roast master for the evening. We're here to have a good time, and we're here to raise money for local animal rescue. So give it up for them, ladies and gentlemen. That's why we're here. And I'm not doing this by myself. I have a lot of talented comedians. They were not available. So we got these people to come up. Give it up for the man of the hour, Mr. Shorty Rossi and Hercules. Booster seat? You all right? Okay. <laughs> Usually when I'm on stage, I'm entertaining or talking about breed awareness. This time, I was just sitting there with no control, and I was waiting to find out what was going to happen. Shorty Rossi, ladies and gentlemen, he's done more for the dwarf community than step ladders. <laughs> and look at him. He's old. He's wrinkled. He's round. He looks like what's left over after a dog gets neutered. <laughs> Once I got into the routine, I was like, oh my god, you know, he was just like going all out. Seriously, it looks like your hat gave birth to a ninja turtle. What the hell is wrong with you? This roast is going better than expected. I mean, the comedians are hysterical. Shorty is a <laughs> Pit boss, huh? That's a pretty cool name for a show. When you think about it, you're combining the type of dog and the job description. Good thing he wasn't rescuing Cocker Spaniels. It really puts the pressure on me not to drop the ball because I don't want to be the one that bombs at the end. Shorty spent 10 years in prison. And Shorty's a nickname. I'm just wondering if he got it on the streets or in the shower. When I was sitting there and I was listening to Tanya's set, I started to panic because she was doing really good and I had to go after her. By the way, the mafia called. They want their look back. <laughs> We have one final roaster. Make some noise for Ashley Brooks! So when it was Ashley's turn to roast Shorty, I was like, oh no, here we go again, especially after the warm up. Uh, I know, I just hope that, you know, he really prepared for this. I'm really nervous about getting up there and not remembering my set or my set just not being good. I'm the last person to leave that stage. They're gonna either go, wow, that was a really good show, or wow, that girl bombed. <laughs> All right. This is great. Isn't this great? I'm great. Are you great? Just kidding. I don't wanna forget why we're all here. This, <laughs> you know? I thought a roast for Shorty would be great, you know, because it would prepare him for the fires of hell. <laughs> and, but a lot of people come up to me and ask, like, why does Shorty rescue dogs? I'm like, well, honestly, how else do you expect him to get bitches in his bed? <laughs> but nah, working in the office is definitely one of a kind of experience. <laughs> I gotta give him a second on that one. Before the show, I was really nervous, but once I got my first few laughs, it was like smooth sailing. We like to tease Shorty about his wardrobe, you know, but to his credit, that was the style when he went into prison. Oh. <laughs> I honestly like the way he dresses. I just worry that somewhere an Irish punk band is missing his piccolo player. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I do love this guy. I mean, sure, I'll never get in your bed, but I'll Thank always God. be your little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Woo. Ashley was amazing. I can't believe how funny she was. She was a riot. Wasn't she great? 